Good morning everybody, it is Monday, it's the bank holiday, it is the 18th of April, there's washing on, we're going to listen to some music, we are tidying up. Um, reading update I read for 10 hours and 15 minutes 28 seconds last week, we'll start doing that again, I'll reset it and when I read we'll do it again, it won't be at the moment because we are tidying up, we had a nice weekend so far, haven't we? And we're going to go down to mum and dad's later to get picked up by a lovely cake. So we're going to crack on, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've been to mum's. Cheers. He's drinking my Coke again. Uh, nothing much happened. Got a cake. Yum, 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 yum. Sitting outside in the garden for a bit now before we have tea. Get the washing in. Get a bit of colour in. Just chilling out. I've read for 27 minutes today so far. Uh, last week I read for 10 hours over the course of the week. But I didn't read anything on the Monday. So there we are. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of colouring. It's only eight o'clock, but this is the only way I'll get her to bed. And as you can see, she's still playing. I'm tired anyway. Back to the, well, not back to the office, tomorrow, but work tomorrow. Then Wednesday, back to the office. Wednesday and Friday this week. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to go. Because I can't pick up Jen. I don't know. It's going to be difficult, I know that. I'm at my fillings for now. Um, fortunately, I've got a great big hole at the back here. I can't see it, anything. Um, it's where I had a root canal and the filling came out, so I was eating a sweet and uh, it just came out. Uh, so they'll probably take the tooth out because it's just crumbling. I'll ring your dentist tomorrow. So luckily, because it's where I had a root canal, there's no nerves. I feel so pain or anything. It's just weird stick my tongue up this great big cavern uh, oh it's weird anyway i will see you tomorrow when it's tuesday good morning my friends it is tuesday the 19th of april god i still haven't paid jennifer's fees i've got to do that today um oh, it was hard getting her to nursery today because she, a, she didn't want to go couldn't find her shoes so she had to wear different shoes which she didn't want to wear um then when we got in the car and she realized that paul wasn't with us she wasn't happy she kept crying daddy 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 so uh, she wasn't very happy that he didn't come so that's fun he's gonna have fun tomorrow taking her when i'm going to the office uh, but other than that everything's fine i'm steaming up the camera i'm gonna get ready to start work now and yeah granddad's picking her up and then i'm picking them up from the park so i'll see you all later okay so not a lot of vlogging going on today. As you can see, Jennifer's here. See Jennifer? Who have you got with you, Jen? Uh, Teddy and Peter Rabbit. Teddy and Peter Rabbit. He's as big as I am almost. Look! Look at that face. He He's a big one, isn't he? And there's one on the window. Yes, yeah, she threw one, tried to throw it down the stairs and it landed on the window, so which is really high up. So I've got to get a ladder to find it. So, a big ladder. A big ladder, yes. I will. I will get it. Now, where is it gone? So, I finished reading a catalogue of catastrophe by Jodie Taylor. So far, reading for this week is two hours and 17 minutes. <laughs> you can tell she takes the reading seriously, can you? <laughs> and I have now moved on to a reread. <laughs> and that is. <laughs> Chap. Chap. <laughs> Mort by Terry Pratchett. So I'm reading this the one same. now. You got the same what? That one. Yeah, Mort by Terry Pratchett. Who's got the same? Same bookmark? Yeah. Yeah, I know. So that's it. I'm going to read for five minutes. Dad. I've got a foot yeah. in my face. Look at this. A foot. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Back to the office though. Okay, guys, I am going into the office in a minute. I'm bricking it. I, don't, I really don't want to go. Um, I know who's in, Lynn and, and Morgan are in, so that's good. Uh, but I am absolutely terrified. I don't know why. It's the same office I've always been to. It's just been redone. I've also got to pick up another laptop. None of my clothes fit. Well, obviously this does, but my trousers don't. I need to order a pair, so I'll do that tonight. I'm just... My anxiety is, is through the roof at the moment, so... Hey guys, I'm in the car park. I'm early, it's not even eight o'clock yet, so I've got a ton of time to kill, which is fine because I just didn't know what the traffic was going to be like. Um, it's quite quiet, so I'm hoping it'll be like this on Friday. I'll leave a bit later and see. Not a huge amount, but I'm just going to start testing it to see what the traffic's like when I come in. 
I'm not sure whether my password on the gate or they actually just let me out. <laughs> let me in. Um, I'll see when I go in, talk to facilities, bless them, uh, and security. But yeah, I've got a little bit of time, so I'm going to just read on my phone or something for a bit and try and calm down because it's silly to be nervous this is the office I've always come to I've, I'm in car park I've always parked in well for the last few years when I was here um, before pandemic I'm actually parked quite far up in the car park actually near the main entrance which is unusual it used to be when we were all in you'd have to but at this time of day you'd park down the bottom but uh, yeah it's quite nice so I'll have to see how it goes I'm just dreading poor old Paul getting Jennifer to nursery because she must be on her way down now um I hope she's all right she was all right when I left so that's something that's part of the anxiety is is Jennifer anyway I'm gonna go and look at my phone a little bit I'm boiling hot I'm home now hooray the day's over it was all right the office is beautiful don't get me wrong it's absolutely stunning I've got to say um just stroking the cat so I'm gonna take Jennifer and we're gonna go out now for an ice cream with her best friend and her best friend's mum how about that again? So we are in squirt and drizzle in this guy. Look at this strawberry smash. Mm -mm. What do you think? Want to try a bit? No. Oh. I can imagine. Yeah. Morning. It's Thursday. Whatever the date is, twenty-first. Naked. Just uh, setting my computer up in the home office today. Next week we'll be in the proper office, and tomorrow I'm in the proper office. Um, but today is a home day, so let's get everything set up, ready to start at eight thirty. A bit tired. Jennifer didn't want to go to nursery this morning; she was not happy, but she's gone. Um, what was I going to say? For some reason my tracker, my time timer reset, so I don't know how much I've read, but I'm about halfway through reading more by Terry Pratchett. I'm not going to read some more of that tonight. Well, I do some colouring, it depends on how I feel, it's lovely out. I've got two orders to pack, I've got a camera and a dress to send, so I'm going to pack them this afternoon. This Paul's off tomorrow, so he can take them down when he goes for a walk. And I must do my accounts, I'll try and do them this evening. Anyway, I'm just going to chill out for a bit while I... Uh, I wait for my laptop to kick in. I'll see you later. Good morning. It's Friday. Can you tell not a lot happened yesterday? Anyway, as you can see, I'm at the office in the car park. Jen was not happy this morning. I left and she was standing in the doorway crying her eyes out. I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. I can't do it. <laughs> Poor baby girl. Hopefully she'll be alright now I've, um, I've gone and Paul will be alright. I'll message him in a bit, see how she is. Oh, it's horrible. Poor kid. I don't know if I can do this. Anyway, he's posted my three items, which is great. So that's another three sold. I'm trying to update my stock list. Sorry, I start getting stuff listed again. Um, hopefully I'll be starting that properly next week. Um, it's very difficult at the moment. I've got no time to myself with Jen at the moment, so yeah, it's not easy, but I'm going to try. Anyway, I'm going to go and get on with the day, get these four and a half hours over so I can go take Dad shopping and try and do a bit more updating on my eBay list. See you in a bit. Well, that's me done for the day and for the weekend. Although I might try and list some eBay stuff because I had a few say free sales this week. They've hopefully gone off today. Oh, my head's hurting. So hot in that office because the because we haven't been in for two years, they put a new aircon. There's not enough bodies in there to regulate it because everybody's not back yet full time. So the building will be full, it'll be just different people on different days. But yeah, I enjoyed that, it was good fun. And a lovely Lynn manager bought me a sausage roll. Well, she bought a pack of four sausage rolls and she let me have one when she went to Greg's for lunch because I was hungry. So I'm going to head off home now and take Grandad shopping. Well, my dad shopping. Grandad, if Jennifer decides to come with us. We're, we're in Newport, it is Saturday. Yeah, two of the lifts aren't working in the Kingsway Centre, one is. So. We're going to go and look at the market, which has been refurbished. That one's not working either, baby. Yeah, there's a new uh, frontage. It's not finished completely yet, as you can see. They probably have seating out here. 
at some point. But they're up here. You alright? You didn't see well. I know. Come on in. Go in here. Look. We're just coming to have a look to see what they've done. Seating. That's in here, that's good. Let's have a look. And have a walk round. It's the uh, Newport. Transport bridge made out of matchsticks or lollipops. This used to be in the Kingsway Centre. Then it moved to the the library. It's really good. Very nice. Pets. Yeah, very nice. This is my favourite shop that used to be in the market. We've been waiting for him to be open for so long. Hello. Shall we go and say hello? Yeah. Okay, back now from town. Jennifer and Paul playing a board game that Nanny Sally bought. I've got a bit of a headache. I think it's brought on by my tooth because it is starting to ache in my jaw. Um, I just thought I'd show you what we picked up today. It wasn't a huge amount. I got two films um, to the clouds will buy, which is Judy Garland as Marilyn Miller. It's the Jerome Kern story. Um, it's nice though. It's a nice little film. And it's one I don't have on DVD, so I thought let's add that to the Judy collection. And then I got... The Barclays of Broadway, which is Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Now, this was supposed to be a film that starred Fred Astaire and Judy Garland, um, but she was sacked by MGM and replaced with Ginger Rogers. So, but yeah, lovely. I'm looking forward to it. I will watch that soon. Um, I got that in Troutmark. Like I said, it's a second-hand bookshop, but they also sell comics, records, CDs, DVDs. Um, I also picked up this Judy record, which I don't have in my collection. This is Judy London 1969, her last performance. This is the last time she sang uh, Over the Rainbow. I don't think her voice is in the best condition, but I'll have a listen to it later, I think, if I can. Um, yeah, really, really, really going to have a listen to that later, because he had some other Judy albums there, so I'm going to have to make a list of what I've got. Just so I don't double up. I didn't have Miss Show Business and I'm pretty sure you had that there. So I'm, if it's there next week, I'm picking it up. I might have to go in, book a day off and go in on my own. Basically, just so I can go around the shops on my own. Simply because when I'm with Jennifer, I don't have time to look properly. And I really want to have a good look at everything he's got in there. So look through all the records, look at all the books, look at all the films. It's got a lot of good classic movies there, old movies, music musicals, oh she's off. So I really want to have a look. Went into the works and picked up uh, one reading book, The Santorium by Leslie Pierce. Heard good things about this book so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I picked up the new Kirby Rosanna's book Mythic Worlds. I haven't really looked at it yet. Um, I've had a quick look, it looks very detailed as always with uh, Kirby, oh that is gorgeous. Go oh that's gorgeous. <laughs> it's they're all really nice as usual. Um I have seen some work people work in this already. Um I have only done completed one Kirby Rosani's page and started another one, so I need to finish that one before I start anymore. But I thought I'd add it to my collection. I'm gonna have a lie down because my tooth is hurting up here. It's not the actual tooth that's got the cavity in it, I think it's just Everything around it is starting to ache. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to have a lie down, charge my phone up, and I'm going to listen to that record later. 
I've got other Judy's I haven't listened to. It's so nice to see the records he's got and to think, oh, I haven't got that one. I'm going to pick it up. So hopefully if it's there next week, I'm going to get Miss Yobis because I get paid next week. So it's still the be April, just be the last day of April. So if I buy any books, they'll go onto April's list. So I do have to put that one on there. So it looks quite good. That book. I've got lots of really good books to read. So I'm very naughty. Oh dear, she doesn't sound happy. I'm out of go and see what's going on in a minute, but that's it for now. I'm going to try and I'm gonna take some painkillers in my head. See you in a bit. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday and I, I have got my phone. I'm sitting in the garden trying to get Jennifer to come out and get some air, but she wants to play this dinosaur game she's got, which is fine. We can play it. It's just a bit breezy out here. I'll get Paul to let her bring it out. We'll, we'll have a go. She'll get bored with it in a minute anyway. Um, I've got my colour in. I've got my book. Yeah, it's nice. Beautiful day, look. Breezy, but uh, nothing wrong with that. There's my stack of rubbish and my cup of tea. Garden full of dandelions, I don't care. Encourages bees and stuff into the garden. And we need to look after them, so I'm happy with the way it grows quite wild. <clears throat> yeah, shopping day today. Haven't read, didn't read at all yesterday, not at all, um, for whatever reason. So I'm reading now Carol Matthews, The Chocolate Lovers Club. I'm on chapter three, so that's how little I've read of it. I might read for a bit, try and get her to bring that game out. I won't be a sec. So yeah, I'll show you the game. So this is the game we've been playing. You've got to put the dinosaurs around the track and we've all won a game. Jennifer wants to play more and we don't because she cheats. <laughs> Your coat is filthy. I need some. No, not yours, hers. I'm not even dressed, so <laughs> I can't show. So they're dinosaurs. I'm not playing again, Jen. That's a dinosaur, look. She's a little girl. You know, she, she's a bit aggro about it. It's like all four-year-olds. If they don't win, she kicks off. I don't know. I've got another four-year-old. Mm. Remember Chris being the same when we used to play Monopoly? Mm. If he didn't win, he'd kick off big time. It's the worst. Mm. That's why I don't like playing games with kids. Okay, so Sunday evening is about it for now, I guess. I've just cut Paul's hair. I've got lots of layers on me. Jennifer didn't like it because she thought I was going to hurt her. Daddy! She sounds so well. Daddy! She goes. I finished reading The Chocolate Lovers Club and I am now reading The Radium Girls by Kate Moore. It's brilliant, it's fascinating, it's sad, so tragic. Uh, but it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. So I can take Jen to bed in a bit and search for the clip ahead that's missing. Um, and I've got ears between my fingers, so it's very itchy. But yeah, it's all good. We're all happy. That's the main thing. So that's it, really. I'm going to call it a day and get this onto the laptop. I'll see you in the next one.